Former UOB Chairman and CEO We Cho Yo was a titan of Singapore's banking industry, said Prime Minister Li Xin Long on Sunday, February 4, as he led the tributes to the late businessman. Mr. We died at the age of 95, Singapore Bank UOB announced on Saturday. He helmed the bank for more than 60 years before retiring from the board in 2018. Mr. Lee said he was deeply saddened by Mr. Wee's death and sent his condolences to his family. His business acumen and visionary leadership were instrumental in growing UOB into one of the most successful banks in Singapore and the region, said the Prime Minister. I have known Cho Yo personally for four decades. When I was chairman of the Monetary Authority of Singapore, overseeing major changes to the financial sector, I worked closely with him and greatly valued his perspectives and advice. He added, I will always warmly remember his passion and energy and our many conversations across a wide range of issues over the years. He also remembered Mr. Wee's significant contributions to the community, including being actively involved in the promotion of the Chinese language, culture and values. Mr. Wee took on key leadership roles within the community, which continues to benefit from the Wee Foundation. It was set up in 2009 to promote the Chinese language and culture in Singapore, as well as provide education and welfare assistance to those in need. The Prime Minister also paid tribute to Mr. Wee's contributions in the education sector. President Taman Shanmugaram described Mr. Wee as simply unique. Mr. Taman, a former Monetary Authority of Singapore MAS chairman, said the former banking tycoon had an insatiable appetite for work and a shrewd eye for opportunities that was unmatched in local banking. He was also committed to his staff. It made UOB a leading bank in the region and helped build up our financial centre, the president added. Under Mr. Wee's leadership, the bank grew from one branch to a regional bank in 19 countries and territories. UOB is Singapore's third largest bank by market cap. Deputy Prime Minister Lawrence Wong said Mr. Wee's transformative leadership made UOB a regional banking powerhouse. His vision and ethical standards set a lasting industry benchmark and his contributions to our financial centre and much more will be remembered, said Mr Wong, who is also Finance Minister and the current MAS Chairman. Deputy Prime Minister Hung Sui Keat wrote in a Facebook post that he always admired and learned from Mr Wee's drive and business acumen, as well as his commitment to serving the community. Mr. Wee served as president of the Singapore Chinese Chamber of Commerce and Industry and was the founding president of the Singapore Federation of Chinese Clan Associations. Mr. Wee led by example as a committed philanthropist who contributed to numerous charitable causes, said Mr. Hung. Mr. Wee served on the Council of the National University of Singapore NUS. In 2004, he was appointed the Pro-Chancellor of Nanyang Technological University NTU. Both universities conferred Honorary Doctor of Letters on Mr. Wee for his contributions. The Prime Minister said Mr. Wee was passionate about education. As Chairman of the Nanyang University Council, he oversaw the difficult process of merging Nanyang University with the University of Singapore to form NUS. Thereafter serving on the NUS Council till 2000, said Mr. Lee. When Mr. Wee became Pro-Chancellor of NTU, he established a scholarship fund to support pursuing postgraduate finance degrees at Nanyang Business School. The UOB We Cho Your Future Leaders Award, launched in 2015 to assist less privileged students studying at NTU and NUS, is a fitting tribute to Mr. Wee's service and leadership added Mr. Lee. Mr. Wee made significant contributions to the education sector, uplifting many students from all walks of life, said Education Minister Chon Chan Singh.
Mr. Wee was known both for his business acumen and for giving back to society. He wrote in a Facebook post. Over the years, he contributed to our schools and various education initiatives, including Hokkien Hawaii Kwan affiliated schools, the Nanyang Junior College Zhong Zheng Rin Scholarship, and the We Cho Your Future Leaders Award Scholarship Program. UOB and the We Family also made donations to the Lee Kuan Yew Centennial Fund, which aims to develop young leaders and support underprivileged students in Singapore. NTU President Ho Tek Hua described Mr. Wee as a great advocate of education, philanthropy, and community service. He said the banker, together with We Foundation and UOB, have gifted 16 million Singapore dollars, 11 US dollars, 9 million to the university over the years. This was in support of education and research development, financial assistance to students from disadvantaged backgrounds, as well as grooming future leaders. Those who have had the opportunity to interact with him remember him as a generous man who was always willing to hear out young people and give them his advice, said Professor Ho. Mr. Wee was also the school management committee chairman of Changcheng High School. In a Facebook post, the school said Mr. Wee dedicated his life to the betterment of education. Apart from generously giving in the areas of upgrading the school's learning facilities and resources to enhance holistic development in our students, he also cared deeply about the well-being and professional growth of our staff, said the school. Born in Kinmen in 1930, Mr. Wee moved to Singapore as a child amid the Sino-Japanese War. At the age of 28, he became the youngest director on the board of United Chinese Bank, which his father Wee Kang Cheng co-founded in 1935. It was later renamed United Overseas Bank. After retiring from the board in 2018, he had stayed on as its chairman emeritus and honorary advisor. One of Singapore's wealthiest men. The banking veteran consistently appeared on Forbes' rich list. In 2023, he was eighth on the Forbes list of Singapore's 50th richest people, with a net worth of 7.1 billion US dollars. He was Singapore's richest man in 2011 with a fortune of 4.2 billion US dollars. Mr. Wee has five children. His eldest son, Wee A.E. Chong, is the current deputy chairman and CEO of UOB.